The MSCS interim superintendent Tony Williams just passed her second month on the board and has community members wondering if this will be a long term position. Zaria Oates spoke with a nonprofit benefiting from their relationship with Williams, who now serves as both interim superintendent and the district's chief finance officer. Though the board has said Williams position is temporary, they have been known to keep on interim superintendents in the past, like with Joris Ray and Dorsey Hobson. Now I spoke with the president and CEO of School Seed, which is a nonprofit organization in the area working with private resources to benefit public education. And they said they've worked with Tony in the past and it's been great, but they are hoping that there is a national search for superintendent. Althea Green, the chairman, chairwoman, made a really good decision. You know, she looked for someone who, who did not want the job. But that good decision for some comes with bumps in the road for others. Parents in the district are moving their kids to private schools, citing a lack of leadership as one of their reasons. And um, We pulled them out um, recently um, to attend a private school here in the city. Um, we pulled them out for several reasons. As parents, um, education has always been a high priority. Memphis education system is in extreme need of a leader um, during this time. She said she's open to bringing her student back into the district, but it'll take some work and a thorough search for a strong candidate. I am not a fan at this time of any internal candidates within the district. While the district is on the hot seat to find a fresh face for superintendent, McCaskill said it's not an easy task and Williams has done a good job taking on the role. She uh, has great work ethic and she just wants to do the very best she can uh, and willing to take on any challenge. And as you can see, this is a huge challenge. And as Williams passes her first 60 days as interim superintendent, community members and parents are just hoping that they stick to their word and complete a nationwide search for that permanent superintendent. In Memphis, I'm Zaria Oates.